Hello guys, how are you doing today? I'm here with another tutorial on how I export my videos to maintain that high quality in Final Cut Pro. So let's get straight into it. The first thing I do is when I'm trying to import my files into Final Cut Pro, I open up Final Cut Pro and I create a new project. So let me name it Export Settings. I open it up, I leave it at 1080p. I put my rendering at Apple ProRes 42HQ. That's the import. Then I click on OK. Then usually I drag and drop. And then I wait for the file to render. While it's rendering, let me just chill. This is also going to be a new episode I'm going to be shooting every week. It's going to be an episode where I teach a tutorial about an editing trick or a shooting trick that I actually know about and I'm trying to teach you guys. This is taking longer than I expected. Let me show you guys my setup. Why this thing is still exporting? Show you what the behind the scenes look like. So this is the behind the scenes. The camera is just here. I have a very tiny ass tripod. Uh, I'm just using window lights to wake up myself. Okay. I think it's done importing. So the next thing we're gonna do now is since this is already a clip we don't need to touch it like we're assuming this is your actual edit then to export i just go straight to this point right here i click on my file default and wait for it to load up then for my export settings i go from info i go to the settings and i leave it at apple prores 42 hq and it actually has a bigger size than if you're exporting at H264, which is a smaller size file. But I leave it at Apple ProRes 42HQ and then I click on next. I click on export settings, which is the name. I save to desktop, then the exports and it saves. Knowing fully where we're trying to upload to Instagram, which means the file is going to be a very large file. You don't want to be uploading 814 MB to Instagram because it's going to compress your file and it's gonna like who wants to upload it on the down that's that's a very large file so we quick time here we just go to the file and we click on export us so we're down raising it with quick time so it retains that high quality but it becomes a smaller file size so we'll go here and i go to 1080 and i change a new name because it already has one name already and i don't want to overwrite that file so now it's re-exporting again from QuickTime this time and QuickTime is down raising it but also still retaining that quality so yeah I think it's almost done yeah so now we're done with this one and then we can look at the two files here this is the file we first exported it is 781 MB and now this is the new file we exported and it is 41 MB. So usually the next thing to do from here is uh, I just send my file via airdrop so it doesn't lose quality to my phone. But then I upload to Instagram. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, as always, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. A lot more tutorials and a lot more videos coming soon. So see you guys in the next one. Peace out.